Hi, I'm John Valvano, a professor at the University of Texas. Professors Guslauer, Yarbali, and I teach a freshman class called Introduction to Embedded Systems. As the final project to this lab, they are to make a handheld game. Each game is controlled by a Texas Instruments LM3S 1968 ARM Cortex-M processor. The goal of the project is to integrate all the concepts of the class. Interrupts, data structures, real-time, input, output, and sound. Okay, let's play. We're going to start multiplayer. We have both single-player and multiplayer modes. sound effect is the sound effect of me hitting his ship and then the second sound effect is him hitting my ship or missing there's a splash too it's just we're too good there <laughs> this is, we call it Galaga plus plus it's kind of a little more advanced version of space invaders or something similar um, high score stuff here so it saves it to the ROM on board. Every time you get a high score, it'll download it. So this is persistent uh, when you cross turn on starts. Off. Yeah. Um, so. It's a little more tricky. Oh. Down goes. Oh. 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 I'm out oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't die. Uh, after this boss, I should get extra life, assuming he doesn't lose. Oh. 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 Hey. As you progress in the game, or through the levels of the game, uh, generally, the aliens have more points, and the higher up the enemy starts, generally the more points you get from them. And also, that we have exotic aliens, and you try and get those because you get more points from them. They're not, they're not shooting, they're not doing anything harmful, and as you shoot them, you progress, and you go to warp, and you move on to the next level, and you get an alien transmission that slowly decrypts into human text that we can read. And so later on, the levels start learning, and they start, oh, we need to dodge. And, and so as you can see, as you fire bullets, they attempt to dodge it, and then if you fire enough, you actually can trick them into actually getting hit. And so you keep on progressing, and they keep on dodging your bullets as well as they can. And ultimately, you go on, you go to warp again, and they give you another message. We don't understand. Why are you doing this? And so finally, they decide to fight back. And so at this point, they just fire straight down. They're not doing anything too difficult. They're still dodging your bullets uh, somewhat. And so the game is starting to get more and more challenging uh, as you progress and go on. We have several different types of bullets that you can fire. You can fire three shots at once, or you can fire single shots, but three at a time. And we want to limit the number of bullets that you have to make the game harder and to make it more strategic. And ultimately, so as you can see, what we have here is the enemies fire directly at you. And to indicate that, the enemies will rotate to face you no matter where you are. And so we accomplish that by writing uh, code that you just input in a sprite, and it will rotate it to whatever angle you wish. And so finally, you get to the final level, where everything seems docile until they form a final boss, where five, once you kill all but five of the enemies, they form into a single boss with four rotating enemies that fires a giant stream of bullets. <laughs> and you complete the game. You have eliminated the alien race. <laughs> it's, it's faster. What do you change the boss to? Uh, it's just, it's just uh, so here oh, are some of the enemies. other enemies. Yeah, these are some of the higher level enemies that you normally wouldn't encounter until you know, 30 minutes plus into the game. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a really long game. It's a really hard game. It's meant for dedicated players. I don't know where the, I don't know where the boss is. Where's the boss? <laughs> make every enemy the boss. Okay. All right. Oh, wait, we're gonna make every enemy the boss now. <laughs> uh, on the screen at one time, and that takes that takes a lot of RAM. So one of the things we had to do was save on to save on RAM, especially with the number of enemies and the number of bullets we have on screen, is we had to do uh, a bit more bit banging. Where's Where's the boss? And. Uh...
you add the row of bricks for each for each level up, and uh, that's <laughs> that's that's the majority of the game mechanics. I think people liked it because it's it's pretty it's simple, simple and addictive and game, oh, which sadly we can't take credit for the design of it. But um, 